Hey guys, so today I filmed a tutorial on this look. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but basically I think this is a really beautiful romantic mauve toned look. This is a bit monochromatic because eyes, lips, and cheeks are all mauve, but they are different variations of the color. They aren't all the exact same. I absolutely love this look in the winter time. I think it is beautiful. So really quickly, I wanted to show you the three main products of this makeup look. For the eyes, I am going to be using the Almay Eyeshadow True for greens in the shade 024. Now, this was discontinued. The Almay Trios do look very different now. If I can find this on eBay or Amazon, I will have it linked down below for you guys. But as you can see, these shades are not that unique. This is more of a icy mauve champagne, a burgundy, and a yellow tone cream color. So very basic shadows. Um, so I'm sure that you have these somewhere in your collection. So I think the formula of this is really nice. This is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows to wear in the winter time, which is why I had to make this tutorial. On my cheeks, I am using Max Breath of Plum. This is a sheer tone finish, so it won't be overly pigmented, but this is matte on the skin, which I think is really beautiful. This, again, is a really pretty mauvey plum color that I have been reaching for a ton this winter so far, and I think it pairs perfectly with this eyeshadow. To finish off the look, my lip product would be the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Honey. Again, a perfect mauve color. I have used a ton of this. This is one of my favorite lip products of all time. And I think it pairs perfectly with the eyeshadow and the blush. And if you guys want to see how this look came together, then please keep watching. So first I'm going to prime my eyes using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to apply this from lash line to brow bone. Next, we are moving on to bases. In my crease, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. This was discontinued, so I hope that you guys were able to get your hands on it. And mine is actually drying out, so I'm not gonna get too much color payoff from it. So honestly, this isn't a must have for this look, but if you guys know how to revive cream eyeshadows, please let me know in a comment down below. So I'm going to apply this base with my my Sigma P82 Precision Round Brush and I'm going to apply this from the outer part of my crease to the middle of my crease so I'm just going to go out on my outer corner So moving on to the second base, which is going on the lid, that is the Milani Shadow Eyes in the shade Champagne Toast. This is one of their permanent colors, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid and up into the first part of the crease to meet the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And then with these Milani pencils, I always make sure to just take my finger and pat over the top. These are a really creamy formula, but I just wanna make sure that it is smooth. So now moving on to the shadows, I'm taking this Alme Trio for green eyes in the shade 024. This was discontinued. I'm gonna to try to find a link for it down below, but as you can see, these colors aren't that unique. So first I'm gonna take this Icy Mauve shade and my MAC 239 flat shader brush and pack this all over the lid and into the first part of the crease, right over the Milani base. So next for my crease color, I'm going to be taking this burgundy shade and my Sigma E25 blending brush and applying this right over the Maybelline color tattoo, starting in the outer corner and working towards the middle of the crease. So next I'm going to apply a blending color. I'm going to be using the NYX Single Shadow in the shade Coquette, and I'm going to apply it with my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, and just go right around the edges of that crease color to help diffuse it. And I usually go in with about two layers of my blending shade. and just small circular motions right around the edge of the crease color. And then we can go back in with the crease color to add a little bit more definition and just apply a small amount of that right back 
into the crease. So for the brow bone, I'm going to be taking this creamy yellow shade with my Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush and applying this right under my brow bone. You could, of course, use a matte shade if you'd like, but I think this works just as well. So next to really define this look, I'm going to clean up the outer corner. So I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15 and my Real Techniques Detail Brush. And I just am going to go from the outer corner of my eye and drag it up and blend it out a little bit to just give me a sharper edge, but to help it look a little bit more clean. I'm gonna set that concealer with the Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadow and my e.l.f. Small Precision Brush, just again to keep it from creasing and to help it last longer. And I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara and be back to show you what's going on my face. So for eyeliner and mascara, I use my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner, my Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in In The Nude, my Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara, Maybelline Falsies Mascara, and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. So now moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to contour with the NYX Blush in Taupe and my Sigma F05 small contour brush and I'm just going to use this to chisel my cheeks. This is a great cool tone color for fair skin but you do have to be careful because it is kind of easy to get carried away with this because you think it is such a light shade but you can definitely go overboard. Next for blush I'm going to be using Max Breath of Plum. This is a sheer tone finish but it is matte. This is a beautiful mauvey plum color. I think goes really well with these eyes and I'm going to apply it with my Sigma F15 Duo Fiber Blush Brush and just apply this to the backs of my cheeks and then work towards the apples. Same on the other side, back of my cheek and work towards the apples. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Superb. This was limited edition, but I know a lot of you were able to get your hands on it. And I'm going to apply with my Real Techniques Setting Brush. This is just a really small brush, perfect for highlighter and just apply this to the top of my cheeks bones. This is just a more cool toned metallic highlight. So uh, I think that you can find something similar in your collection. The Balm Mary Luminizer is not the same, but it will give a really nice effect and go well with this makeup. Then I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques blush brush and blend out all the cheek products so that they aren't too harsh looking. So for lips, I'm also going with a mauve color. This is the Revlon Just Bit and Kiss of a Balm Stain in the shade Honey. This is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm just going to apply this on my lips. And there we go. This is such an incredible formula. It's really comfortable and easy to apply. And here is the finished look. I think this is a really romantic mauve makeup look. It is a bit monochromatic, but it isn't exactly the same tone, but they are all in the same color family. I think this is a beautiful look. And I'm really sorry that I made a tutorial with a discontinued Almay Trio, but it is one of my absolute favorites. And like I said, the colors are not that unique so you should be able to find something similar to this in your collection maybe they're not all together in one trio but I'm sure throughout different palettes and singles you have these colors so I do hope that you guys enjoyed this look thank you so so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye guys